Ja, das Internet wird immer intelligenter und dabei gehen natürlich die ein oder andere schöne äh, alte Angewohnheit verloren, aber nicht nur alte Angewohnheiten, sondern auch alte Technologien, die nach wie vor das Internet bestimmen. Eine davon ist E-Mail und die Nachricht, die Message, die wir nun von der Firma MetaLayer zu hören bekommen, heißt E-Mail will be dead soon. Und zu diesem Talk begrüße ich recht herzlich Niki Flandorfer. Hi Niki. Hallo. Hi. Um, Niki, E-Mail will be dead soon. That was your statement. What will be substituting E-Mail then? Substituting E-Mail will uh, portals, personal portals, community hubs. So MetaLayer is a company which is building XML-based seed collaborative technologies, um, community hubs. So we see enterprises will build community hubs in their environments, in marketplaces, websites, or portals. Now we had a whole bunch of buzzwords. Um, community hubs, what uh, do you actually understand by this? So how do you define a community hub? What is it? So today we have a problem in the internet that people are accessing portals, marketplaces and websites and these people have requests. These people want to be a part of the company. They want to interact, ask questions. So the solution will not be that people ask by email a question to somebody. The solution will be that people will be a part of a community. And the community hub is a hub which hosts a lot of different communities of interests. Now, when you're a member of one of these communities, you obviously want to interact with all the other members of your community or maybe even the other communities. Um, without email, how do you interact or how do you even collaborate, which was one of the main purposes of the original Internet, to get people together to work together? Right. We go back to the basics of the Internet. We go back to the main ideas of the Internet. Let people talk together. Let people match with other people who have the same interests, the same goals, and want to achieve the same thing. So on the portals, on the marketplaces, or on the websites, people will log into their community hub in a personal portal style and um, as a web-based email system, basically, if you look at it, we'll type in and discuss the matter. One big advantage of having communities of interest on the website is the possibility to segment the audience. So if companies like it or not, they will be forced in future to segment people on their website. Now, when uh, people communicate inside these communities, they need certain tools to do that. And uh, what are the tools that will be substituting email? Will people in the future only chat together, or what will be the means of their communication? No, the thing is going toward everywhere, always, ASP models, so they don't need tools. What we are doing, we are giving technology for marketplaces, portals and websites which are fully integrated into this environment and people do need nothing. They can log in into a system, log in by a palm, log in by any device and um, use the community hub. So email has no future. Email is an old-fashioned style of communication as we see it, see it. So they will post their content to the website or how, how, how are they going to yes, do Yes, they will post the content on a specific community. It can be a micro community. So the understanding of community today, especially in the pharmaceutical or in the knowledge intensive industry, is uh, different. There can be micro communities existing of five people. So communities do not need to be 5,000 people on the place. So the segmentation which you have in communities is the big advantage of the company because you can post and submit content or interaction to the very specific audience. Um, now, communities uh, traditionally have addressed more the private user, the single user who wants to be part of a community to find other people to exchange ideas or to collaborate with. Um, now you mentioned uh, pharmaceutical industries. Do you think that communities in the future will be a subject also for business-to-business -business, uh, applications? No, um, I think 
communities are for business to business application. So let us go back to business in overall. I see e-business is, no, is no different business as we are doing since long time. It's discussing about things, is finding a point which we agree both together to do the deal. So communities are facilitating that. The company which is providing this XML-based collaborative solution is focusing on the C of the commerce. We are not doing transactional stuff. There are so many marketplace builders. What we are delivering is the collaborative part. And I think, as I see the internet today, there is a missing part of communication, interaction, and intelligent interaction. Now, interaction is obviously one subject. Uh, on the other hand, one of the big advantages of email always was that it's asynchronous. I can write something and you on the other side, you can answer this email whenever it suits you. How can you address this asynchronous communication between people with the community? You can do that as well in the community. Somebody posts his initial idea, his initial request, or demand and one of the community from the inside of the company or from the outside responds to that. So community building is an interesting thing to look when you work together with people. After half a year of being on a community, of being on a community hub, you know each of the audience. You know all together very well. So today I think people hide behind email messaging sometime. And this is what we are going to make different. Now, if you uh, try to envision two or three years into the future, what do you think? Will everybody of us, every internet user, be part of one or even more communities? Or what do you think will, be, uh, will the future of internet look like? This will happen, actually, Ossi. Thank you for the question. Um, I strongly believe that we will p be part of many different communities. Amazon.com is delivering books and they are already starting trying to do kind of this, that you can vote on books, that you can uh, give your comments on books. So I have uh, interest in books, I have interest in mountain biking, I'm a sailor and I'm a businessman interested in the news calm. So I have four companies maybe, which I access the portal, the site. In future, I will access their community hub. And what we are providing as a company as well is the personal portal. This is the second product we are doing. The personal portal will aggregate, aggregate all the changes and interaction of this physically distributed companies. So this is one vision we have. Thank you, Nikki, for this great vision. Uh, nothing stays the same, even not on the internet. Thank you for being here, and good luck and a successful show. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Sie sehen, meine Damen und Herren, auch im Internet bleibt nicht so, wie es war. Äh, selbst die E-Mail kann eventuell ersetzt werden, einmal durch neue Community-Tools. Wenn Sie mehr über die Zukunft und den gegenwärtigen Stand der Dinge im Internet wissen wollen, kommen Sie zur nächsten Show wieder zu uns. Bis dahin wünsche ich Ihnen hier auf der Messe noch viel Spaß und vor allen Dingen viel Erfolg. Bis dahin. Tschüss.